Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kirby here on 3.35 in the morning, Eastern Time. See, I really am here. I feel like I could turn this thing off to cut down a bit of the ambient noise. It's It's been quite cool here the last couple days. So I've been running the heaters uh, a lot of the time. I'm just real pussy, I guess, in that regard. Uh, but that's the way it is sometimes. Whereas in the UK, as I understand, it's been quite warm. I, uh, pardon me for checking my phone. I've been going back and forth with my Australian friend. Quite unexpectedly. Well, unexpectedly from his standpoint and unexpectedly from mine because I woke up and I texted him and then I realized that I hadn't taken account of the time difference so we've been going back and forth. But I guess it hadn't. I guess I didn't piss him off, so, okay. That's neither here nor there. What I want to talk to you tonight about is, or this morning about, at least for a while, and then maybe, and then maybe talk about some other things. Uh, I got it. It's amazing what gets on my glasses. It's just astonishing. Uh, is... Uh, a fellow called uh, Richard Gemma, Dick Gemma, uh, who was a DO, who uh, was a board certified anesthesiologist, you know, by the American Board of Anesthesiology, uh, and and who was on the faculty at Ohio State and helped train me. He died here recently. And I guess he was still he was still in Columbus. He had you know, move out of the, go away, stop flying around. Anyway, he, uh, idiotic moth. Anyway, he, uh, um, no, he, he had left Columbus and he died here in Columbus. Uh, he was 76. I don't know if he had Parkinson's or not, because, you know, it's like one of these things, donate to this Parkinson's thing. Maybe that's a member of his family had Parkinson's or not. I don't know. He might have had Parkinson's. Uh, when the Ohio State uh, University sort of department sort of was excised and reinvented by John McDonald, who came in as the new chairman in 1978. Uh, he and a number of other, well, along with a number of other people, he went down, he ended up going down to Grant uh, South, what we called Grant South, which was, you know, uh, uh, Grant Iron Ear, or as we like to call it, Grant Ear and Rear, because because they kept a lot of the rectal of uh, the hemorrhoid patients over there. So great here and rear. And as far as I know, uh, the other person that really, really influenced me, and, and when I say really influenced me, it's like I wanted to be this guy's brain when he did anesthesia. Uh, Lauren Prince is still there, and he's in his 80s, I know that, I know he's 81, 82. Uh, but I, I didn't know if, if, if uh, Richard Gemma was still, Dr. Gemma was still working or not. Uh, in any case, uh, my ex-wife called me today and said that she had seen his obituary in the Columbus Dispatch, or as I, as I call it, the, the Columbus Sports Pages. And uh, so I read it, and I've got it here. And I just basically, it's, it's uh, 
It lists, of course, it always lists all the family and stuff. There's a certain degree of, uh, oh, stop it, <laughs> of inconsistency. Uh, it says, it says his, his, his wife is still, you know, his wife preceded him in death, uh, but then uh, later people are talking about like his wife is still alive, so I don't know. And it's, that's neither here nor there. Um, but the, the thing about uh, Dr. Gemma was that uh, what saved him as a DO in an MD world was that he trained at an MD program. And he trained at Marquette. Uh, and then he, of course, he, then he uh, was during that horrible Vietnam War time. And he was drafted, you know, as a physician, he was drafted uh, uh, to be a physician in Vietnam. And that's, okay. Uh, And he was an assistant professor at Ohio State University. Uh, and he he was a great guy. I mean, he, he uh, I can't ever recall him particularly teaching me any little insight or technique or trick of the trade, but the thing about Dr. Gemma was, like, 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 like all good docs have is if, if you have a patient, you are there for them, period. You were, if you have a patient, you are there for them, period, regardless. And, and uh, you, never, you never leave them, you never abandon them, you never sign them off to somebody else, you... you you take care of your patient, uh, and uh, he exemplified that to the highest degree. And uh, he's going to be missed. I mean, he's one of these, he's one of the old guys, uh, you know, older school guys that that are just going to be flat out missed because that's like a library got burned down, you know. And uh, yeah, what can I say? I mean, the man, the man was a a good guy, and he helped train me, and uh, was there uh, for me and with me. And uh, if the Ohio State hadn't gone to hell as far as the anesthesia department. I would have been with his, his business associate and, and professional associate. Uh, uh, he's a good guy. And uh, there aren't too many of uh, that, that crowd left. And, uh, and it's like, uh, it's like the uh, uh, opening lines of Moby Dick or the end lines of Moby Dick, uh, you know, and I, I alone am left to tell the tale, you know. Uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk about some more personal stuff here later. Uh, uh, tonight, but I don't want to sully uh, Dr. Gemma's memory here by including uh, my more how should we say earthy things and and what I'm going to say next maybe alrighty rest in peace Dr. Gemma you are a good guy.